So I will go by starting with a password, 3482. I want to go to engine settings, change J1939 to mechanical, engine manufacturer, I'll leave it other, engine emission, tier three or less, speed source, going to change to magnetic pickup, speed calibration, on the simulator I have, I want 207 teeth, as a flywheel. Minimum engine speed, 700 is fine. Maximum, 2,000. My warm-up cooldowns are fine. Fuel level is fine. If you have a 24-volt system, you'll want to raise your high battery warning also your low battery warning and your weak battery warnings. In advanced engine settings, crank attempts three is fine. Crank disconnect speed, 500 RPM is fine. I'm not using a clutch, so I'm not going to select those. Timers. Going to change my ECU stabilized time to zero since I'm not using an ECU or an electronic engine. Crank time is okay, 10 seconds. Crank rest, 10 seconds. I'm not using pre start delays. If you wanted a siren or prime to pump or anything like that, these are where your pre starts would be. Spin down timer, 30 seconds. I'll leave it there. I don't have any actually post crank lockout time, 30 seconds. Want to make sure my lockout parameter is set to low oil pressure. You can also have this that expires at load if you would, if you wish. Post lockout time two, engine or high engine temp, that's fine. Those are the only ones I'm going to select here. I don't have any for post warm up, and I don't have any bubble lockout times. Warnings and shutdowns. Again, you see the low fuel, high battery. Since this is a 12 volt system, I don't have to worry about changing my battery. My oil pressure at low oil pressure at high speed. So at 2000 RPM, I'm going to be looking at 35 PSI for my warning and 30 PSI for my shutdown. Under 2000 RPM, I'll be looking at 15 PSI for a warning and 10 PSI for a shutdown. So from low oil pressure shutdown, I want to scroll down to Engine high temp warning. You're gonna warn at 210 degrees Fahrenheit by default. You can raise or lower that depending on the engine. Also, this shutdown is 225 degrees Fahrenheit. You can raise and lower that depending on the engine. We also have a low engine temp warning. This you could raise or lower. Usually you will not have that warning. So now that I have the warning set up, I want to go to throttle. I'm going to change this from TSC1 to either pulse ink deck or analog, depending on what you have. This is for an auto throttler. I'll leave it at non PID auto throttle. Target step size is fine at 25 RPM. My throttle dead band, depending on if you if your throttler hunts, you can raise this to 50 RPM or so. You can also decrease this if you wish. Your throttle ink deck pulse, right now we have at 50 milliseconds. 
We also have the pulse delay at 250 milliseconds. These you will change depending on your throttler, depending on the engine, your fuel injection pump and everything else that determines the speed that this needs to pulse. The throttle ink rate right now is set to 10 RPM per second. You'll probably need to raise that and your deck rate is also at 10 RPM per second. You'll probably need to raise that unless you want a really slow throttle. Inputs and outputs. Now I want to set up my analog input. Analog input one, I want to set, I want to, set to Murphy oil pressure. And this is going to be a resistive. There we are, Murphy oil pressure. You can also set to a DATCON oil pressure or VDO oil pressures. Today I'll be setting it up for a Murphy oil pressure as an ES2P. Once I have that selected, you want to go back, analog input 2. I want to set to engine temperature, so Murphy coolant temp, the same. You'll have the DATCON coolant temp and VDO. Today I'll be setting it up for Murphy coolant temp. Once I have that set up, you can see the two here. I want to go back, my relay outputs. Relay one is crank, that is fine. Relay two, change from ECU enable to fuel. That's all I need to set up for my relay outputs. The application configuration, I'll touch on this in, an, in the application configuration video. Same with start stop timers and communication. That is setting up a mechanical engine. Now you can see you have oil pressure and temperature. Your battery voltage is coming from the battery directly into the controller. So you don't need to set that up. And the RPM is set up for your mag pickup the way we went through the menu. Thank you.